Every application built on the Bubble platform comes with a built-in database. You can custom configure the data structure so that it really fits your own app's needs. Everything from the number of tables you need, the fields within those tables, the relationships between the records. This is a capability that Bubble offers so that you can keep this really important component under one roof uh, so that things can tie together with your logic and your page designs more easily. Now, do you have to use this built-in database system? Technically, no. You can connect your application to an external database if you want. But let's first look at the benefits of using this built-in system. Your custom data structure is already integrated into your application's editor. Bubble already has the pathways created for you to create your workflow logic, to set up page designs, to display things from your database. It's just up to you to create the instructions from there, right? But all of the plumbing is already in place. Now, again, if you wanted to connect your application to an external uh, database, you can, but it is up to you to create that plumbing, to create the connections and pathways for Bubble to know where to go to get that information. Now, with this built-in system, you can also take advantage of Bubble's privacy rules. Privacy rules are how you can create custom access rights to data records. This can be based on who the person is that's logged in or the content of the record itself. There's a lot of things you can do there and you can create rules to apply to the entire application. And it's only going to work off of your custom data structure. So taking advantage of the built-in system will give you access to that. If you're looking to expose your app's data to the outside world where external systems need to grab information from you, you can do so in literally a single click by exposing your app's data API. Bubble actually creates a database API automatically for you based on your custom structure with the built-in system. Another area you can benefit from is all things user account management. Every Bubble application comes with a built-in user table and that's where your credentials are stored, your unique email address and your secure password. But there's also a whole host of features and functionality that Bubble offers that's directly tied to these special user records. So things like logging people in and out, um, using social network logins to you know, log in with your Google account, for example, resetting passwords, creating accounts for other people, creating temporary passwords, things like that. Hey, real quick, if you're finding this helpful, our fast track course goes vastly more in depth about how to take your app from idea to launch. Founders who are looking for a complete start to finish blueprint have found it the most helpful. So take a look at coachingnocodeapps.com slash fast hyphen track to see if it might be a good fit for you too. Now, here are some things to consider if you're going to build an app on Bubble uh, that may have you moving information to an external database. The first is that as an admin of your app, you're going to have access to all of the data. The only thing that's concealed from you are your users' passwords. Um, now, you still can run the application as a user. There's actually a specific function for that in the editor, right? So if you need to protect uh, your user's data, even from yourself as an admin, there's some extra steps you would need to take to encrypt all of that. Um, and maybe moving to an external database system can make those kinds of things easier for you. The next area to consider is that the Bubble database may not be compliant with specific industry regulations your app needs to meet. For example, if you're in the US, Bubble is not HIPAA compliant, so you don't want to be building applications that are working with sensitive patient information. Uh, Bubble is also not PCI compliant, so you don't want to store credit card numbers in full uh, within your data records. You actually want to rely on a connected payment gateway to allow those services to store that information securely. The next thing to consider is that if your application is one that needs to make frequent high volume changes to database records, you may find that in Bubble, the speed of those changes are gonna be slower compared to other systems. This could be something that you trial and error a little bit and compare which one's gonna give you the best overall outcome, um, but making bulk changes to mass amounts of records isn't the fastest in Bubble. We've seen that external systems can work a lot faster. At the end of the day, every application is different. There's really no right or wrong answer, but Bubble is giving you the choice to use the built-in system and or to connect to an external database. And you can use both if you want. My recommendation is that you go with the built-in system unless there's a very specific reason not to, because there are so many advantages that come with that built-in structure that are gonna help your development overall in the editor.